What up everybody? Before I even get started with this video and the possibility that Crystal is the mother of Andre Coleman, tell me that you never noticed some kind of odd brotherly rivalry between Sean and Dre in Power Season 2. If you didn't notice before, definitely go back and watch Power Season 2 and pay attention to the tension there was between Dre and Sean for literally no reason. Then keep in mind how Kanan and Dre met. Kanan saved Dre in prison, again, for literally no reason, supposedly. But I'll get back to that in a minute. Now rewinding back about 22 years to the current Raising Kanan timeline of 1992. And Kanan and Crystal are in Kanan's apartment when she starts asking Kanan about their relationship status. Kanan went on to tell Crystal they were kicking it. When Crystal dropped the bombshell on Kanan, that she's late. Because there was so much going on in the finale, this was never addressed again on screen. The only thing we saw was Crystal crying as Famous knocked on the door to tell Kanan about Rock. So whatever conversation that Kanan had with Crystal up to that point wasn't going good for her to be crying. And they couldn't have talked too much after that either. So in my personal opinion, this is the biggest cliffhanger going into season 4. Especially since... What I already knew from episode 1 of this series has been confirmed that Unique is Breeze. Either though there's still some skeptics out there somehow. But a lot of people went on to assume because of this that Crystal is the mother of Kanan's son Sean. But this is not correct. Sean's mother's name was Jarita who we saw in Power Season 2 when Kanan went to pick up a big bag of money that he said she had been holding for him for all those years. He also said that Jarita was loyal and gave Jarita a couple bankrolls herself for her loyalty. And we're also still about two years away from Kana meeting Jarita and getting her pregnant with Sean. And even if there was a name change, there's no way they would miscast Jarita so badly with Crystal. At the same time, Dre's mother's name was Vanessa and not Crystal either. But Crystal resembles Vanessa a lot. And could definitely pass as a younger version of Vanessa. And Crystal, now that she has gotten pregnant by Kanan, might very well eventually have reason to run and change her name to hide from Kanan. Then again, and we never know, but Crystal might just be a stage name. Just like Jukebox is Laverne's stage name. And this timeline also adds up with the age of Dre. And this is honestly not a new theory for me. I've been thinking that Kanan was Dre's father for a while. But personally, I thought Palomar was potentially the mother. And that's why she ran off because she got pregnant and didn't want Rock to find out. Because she also does somewhat resemble Dre's mother Vanessa, but nowhere near as much as Crystal though. As well as the age adds up better with Crystal being Dre's potential mother rather than Palomar. Getting me to what we know about Dre's mother Vanessa. The first scene she was introduced, Dre was waiting very nervously outside of the church where he knew his mother would be. Vanessa being a very religious woman. Dre was needing money to get out of town because he had done burnt every bridge he could cross over and again a few times. And still had found a way to keep surviving up until this point. But he was desperate and in need of money. Even going as far as turning to Tasha to extort her for money, threatening to go to the police about Tariq. Something he had already done in the first place, dropping the dime to Blanca that Kanan was in D.C. at the time of Ray Ray's murder. And Dre already knew who took Ray Ray out, that it was Tariq. But Dre's mother turned him down, refusing to give him money, saying she hadn't talked to him since he had got out of prison. And not even believing him when he said that he had a daughter. And we also know that Dre's mother had money. Not saying she was rich rich, but she did have enough money for Dre to come asking her for money. And she also had plenty of jewelry for Dre to steal as well. Crystal most likely later on got a job at the same church as the praise team leader and the choir director. After her singing career failed. And that's also how Dre knew where to find her. At the same time, Crystal might have also experienced some success as a gospel artist while she was young also. Because Vanessa had a very big walk-through closet. Almost hinting that Dre grew up in a mansion. 
And the funny thing is, this is another part of the whole Dre and Sean rivalry. Dre thinking that Sean was soft because he didn't grow up in the streets. But from the look of that house, Dre probably grew up in a gated community or something like that. And in a way nicer neighborhood than Sean did. But at the same time, this just goes to show that the game was in Dre's blood. So much like Tariq, regardless of where he grew up at, he was going to turn to the streets regardless. Especially seeing he potentially comes from the stock of Rock and Kanan. And the messiness of Crystal at the same time. And this pretty much fits Dre perfectly. Keep it in mind Dre's whole mindset and what he wanted from the game. To become the biggest drug dealer in New York. While his mother Crystal was the diva from the group Butter who always needed to be the center of attention. And just like Dre went and settled for the number two position and turned on his boy Crystal Ball, reported him and Alicia Menes to the cops the same day he had to step down from the driver's seat, and it was only supposed to be temporary at that. While his mother Crystal actually sent two girls to jump jukebox just to stop her from showing up at rehearsal, so she could steal the lead role from Juke. Like Kanan said in the season three finale, the apple don't fall far from the tree. Getting me to the scene where Dre broke into Vanessa's house and stole her jewelry. Vanessa caught Dre and pulled a gun out on him and told Dre she always knew that one day he would bring his wickedness back to her house. She also talks about turning Dre in, so most likely she was the reason why Dre went to prison in the first place. Then she says something very, very key to keep in mind. She said, I thought it was the only way to save you. Lord knows I couldn't do it on my own. This lets us know that Dre was raised without a father in the picture. Then Dre's response to his mother about how she treated him when he was growing up will tell you exactly about how Vanessa felt about Dre's father and most likely that their relationship ended on terrible terms. Ever since I was little, you told me I was no good. A little demon you used to say. I was like six years old when you started calling me that. Six years old, y'all. No father in the picture. And his mother started calling him a demon. Then he went on to say, You told me I was wicked every day of my life. With your words. With the way you looked at me. With the way you said my name. What did you think would happen to me? Then Dre went on to quote some Bible scriptures. And took the gun away from his mother. Before letting her know that his daughter's name was Heaven. A place neither one of them would ever see. And that he would never let his daughter anywhere around Vanessa. So we know that Crystal and Kanan will have a falling out. Because we know nothing about him having another son and baby mama from OG Power. This will most likely be after Crystal finds out that Kanan is a killer. And he will most likely have to threaten Crystal to get her to keep her mouth shut. This will cause Crystal to run off with the baby and change her name to keep Kanan from finding her again. And because of whatever she sees Kanan do, most likely killing a man, she will then turn to God and to the church. And this explains why she called Dre a demon from the time he was six. Every time she looked at Dre, she actually saw Kanan. Getting me to the fact that Kanan saved Dre in prison. And the big question, did Kanan know that Dre was his son or not. Because there's a chance that he had no idea that Dre was his son. And just saved Dre out of his intuition. Almost like he could feel a connection. Keep in mind that kane has been through it before with Howard. Telling him that he didn't need no test to know that he was his father. Then again Kane might have very well known that Dre was his son. And stayed away from him and Crystal for his own personal reasons. What we do know is that Kane treated Dre like a son. And was even closer with Dre than he was with Sean. Until everybody thought that Kanan was dead. And he came back as Slim on Demon Time. Only to find out that Dre was now working for Kanan's op, Ghost. And there you have it. Is Dre Kanan's long lost son? Leave your thoughts, theories, and predictions in the comments.